Okay, welcome everybody to today's tutorial of how to use the chain rule. Now, you use the chain rule, as I mentioned before, um, whenever you have a um, expression such as this one with uh, power, you know, and you can't be bothered expanding that, so you use something known as the chain rule. You can use it in different instances, like it, even if you have something like this, looks really hard, but you can actually express this as a single power. Okay, so you can put this back to the top. Uh, first of all, you can rearrange that power and make it like 1 over um, 2x squared plus 5 to the power of a third. And for, then you can just put this third upwards. So you can go x, 2x squared plus 5 to the power of negative 1 third. And you can actually use the chain rule to work that one out. Okay, so let's have a look at um, the ways to use the chain rule. Now... <clears throat> If you, there's two actual ways, there's a shortcut method and then there's a long way and you have to understand both of these because both of them will help you, okay? So if we, if we have a look at first um, the long way, this is the way in which um, you're going to be understanding how to basically use your uh, differentials, things called differentials and you need to have a little bit of knowledge of substitution here. So let us say that we have y equals to 3x squared plus 5x to the power of 10 and we really can't be bothered using binomial for that so we have to use um, the chain rule okay now what we do is um, the inner content this inner content becomes you make it equal to some kind of value so the, the value we use, the letter we use is U in this case. It's almost always U in every maths book, so I'm just used to it. So U equals to just the content of that bracket. Okay, after we've got U, what we can do is we can substitute um, just a letter in instead of having all of this expression. We can go Y is equal to U to the power of 10. So that's the very first thing that we do. Okay, so we've defined u in terms of x and we've defined y in terms of u. So the second thing that we do is uh, we differentiate each of these. Okay, so we basically have, and you'll see y in a second, but you basically differentiate, so you go du over dx is going to be equal to 6x plus 5. Okay, and then we do the same to that, so we differentiate that got dy over du equals to uh, 10 u to the power of 9. So, these are called differentials, okay? And what they actually help you to do is you can now set up some um, expression which actually um, gets you to find the derivative. So, the ultimate goal, keep in mind that the ultimate goal ultimate goal is to actually find dy over dx. That's our ultimate goal. Okay, we want to differentiate this, don't we? So, basically now we can set up something known as the chain rule. Um, we can say that in order to find our differential dy over dx, that's what we're looking for, we can somehow, um, using these two differentials here, we just put them side by side for now, dy over du, and in order to get rid of the du's, the only thing that you have to do here is to times, because by timesing, then these, this du chain um, cancels out with that du, and ultimately you're left with dy over dx, which is what you originally wanted to find. So, let me show you how we're going to do this. So let's just plug everything in, du dy over dx is equal to um, du over dx which is this here, so it's equal to 6x plus 5 and then you times it by dy over du, so you times it by 10u to the power of 9. Now, I'm a little bit wrong in doing this because I shouldn't be putting u's in, in something that's only in terms of y and x. But I just wanted you to see that um, we've already defined u here. So we just plug it back into there. Alright? And we can set up a derivative now. So 
So I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Great, now I forgot what my U was. So that's just fantastic. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is um, dy over dx is equal to 6x plus 5. Now I'm just going to have to quickly integrate this because I've forgotten what I made my u equal to. Um, don't worry about what I'm doing here. I just can't figure it out. So 6x squared over, three, over 2 plus 5x. So u is going to be equal to 3x squared plus 5x. Okay, so that's what my u is going to be. Alright, 3 to the power of 9. And I suppose the hardest bit of this stuff is to actually work out um, how, to different, uh, how to simplify this. Okay, so we've got dy over dx equals 2. Um, you can see that it's going to be 60. Um, x plus 50. I'm just multiplying this 10 here and that's one bracket and then you can write 3x squared plus 5x to the power of 9. So that's what our derivative is going to be. Okay, so that's looking at the long way of doing stuff, alright? Now, um, we have a look at the shortcut method. In the shortcut method, you're going to have a much easier time. Okay, so in the shortcut method, if we take that equation, 3x squared plus 5x to the power of 10, I believe it was, um, then basically what we can do is we can um, solve this in a few steps. There are a few ways of doing this. First, you differentiate contents in bracket. Differentiate... Con um, differentiate contents. The next thing you do is you put the contents on the outside, the derivative contents on the outside, and then you um, decrease the power downwards. So decrease power, reduce, and then the third step is reduce power by one. Reduce um, power by 1. Okay, so let us have a look at um, exactly what I'm talking about. So if we just um, basically use these techniques, you write it down somewhere in your exercise book. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going, we're finding dy over dx. All we need to do is bring down the power in front. Okay, we're going to differentiate the contents within that bracket, only the contents, so only this part. So we've got 6x plus 5. Alright, and then we're going to decrease that power by 1. So we've got 3x squared plus 5x to the power of 9. So, now we've got our derivative in like just two steps. Can you see? So 60x plus 50 times this together to give you 3x squared plus 5x to the power of 9. And so that is your derivative expression, okay? So I hope that um, you have learned something today and I'll be going through more examples as we move along. Feel free to check out some of my chemistry stuff and also have a look over the um, VCE advice that I've posted on YouTube. Have a great day and I'll see you later.